Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we got a special one for all you Apple users and we're going to take a look at installing custom firmware Infinity 2.0 on the PSP Go. So stay tuned. Alright, first things first, you must be running custom firmware on your device in order for this to work. And I do have an easy tutorial step by step on how to do that and the link will be in the description below. Alright, so let's connect our PSP Go via USB cable to our iMac. Right now I'm using a 27 inch iMac and I'll have the specs in the description if you're curious on what type of Mac I'm using. Now let's begin on our Apple iMac and the first thing you want to do is download the Unarchiver. This is a great program that will extract pretty much any zip file or any unusual file and it's just a great program. All you have to do is double click on the zip file and it'll extract it within seconds. So that is our first program if you don't have it already. Moving on to the Infinity 2.0 download, you want to go down to the section downloads and click on the Infinity 2.0 link. It should start downloading. Once it's finished, you want to show in folder and get it ready to extract by dragging it onto the desktop. Alright, so if you installed Unarchiver for the first time, when you go and double click the zip file, it's going to ask you which application to use and you want to use the Unarchiver. Once you have that all set up on your computer, all you have to do moving forward is double click on the zip file and the new file will appear right next to it. Now the file is ready to be transferred onto our PSP Go and once you plug in your PSP, the drive should appear on the desktop and right now in the beginning of this whole process it wasn't shown because I really want to show you here how it looks when you plug it in. So you can go ahead and open up your PSP drive and you want to select the PSP folder, go into game and then you want to create a new folder called update if you don't have that already. Now if you do already have an update folder, make sure there's no file in that folder that says eboot.pbp. Next open up your Infinity 2.0 folder and go into the PSP Go folder and then you want to copy that eboot.pbp into that new update folder we just created on our PSP Go device. Now we can go back onto our Go and finish the final steps there. Go to your system storage under game and you should see a new application to launch called Infinity 2. Go ahead and launch by pressing X. It's going to take about 12 seconds for it to boot up and once you make it to the main menu all you have to do is press X to install Infinity. It will take a couple seconds and you want to press X to reboot. Once you're in, you want to go and check your system settings and go to system information and make sure that you have 6.60 with the Infinity logo right next to it. I had to cover my Mac address because it's not fully complete. There's two more steps to go. We now have to enable the custom firmware permanently and I'll be testing a game called Diablo and this is from the PS1. As you can see, I have an error just because it's not fully installed yet. So what we're gonna do is go back to the Infinity 2 application, execute by pressing X. Once you're at the main menu, you wanna navigate to the left and you're gonna see two options. You wanna press X on Pro C. Once you're done, you wanna hit home button and then you wanna exit out and it will reboot. So the reboot from Infinity 2.0 did not work. As you can see, I'm pressing select and I'm not getting no recovery menu or the uh, VSH menu. And I'm trying the Diablo game once more and I'm still getting an error. So we're gonna have to restart it ourselves by holding up the power button to power it down. And then we can restart it and from there you should be all set. And there we go, my custom theme just loaded and that's a good sign. And I'm gonna go ahead and press select and there is the VSH menu. And now I'm gonna go into system settings and system information and the MAC address should be gone. 
For the final test, we're gonna go ahead and launch Diablo for the PS1. And that is it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one. Take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.